I was in Cape Town and it was like my first year of university mm -hmm. and I noticed um, a lot of people struggle to find a good barber or a hair, uh, or a hair salon because you're in a new environment you don't know where to start you don't know where to go you don't know where to go you don't know who's good, good. You who's gonna good mess or who's up your hairline yeah <laughs> and that's exactly why I named it hairline you know to solve that problem we have five project ideas for you guys um, number one would be a job tracker app mm -hmm. so basically it's just going to keep track of companies you've applied to interviewed follow ups and you know just make it very um, impressive creative just play around with it if you find a company you want to work with yeah try get to like either a manager or even like the owner of the of the place mm -hmm. get to know like what's your biggest problem mm -hmm. and then you go and solve that and then come back to them and be like hey this this is what I have this is what I have yeah this is what yeah. I, I have thought could be the best solution mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Tech with Gen Z. So today we're getting very deep into it and talking about something very interesting. What projects really impress employers? So my name is Taffy and here I am with... Emmanuel. Yes, so yeah, we're just going to dive straight into it. Um, so yeah, Emmanuel. What the... Uh what projects really make you stand out especially to someone who's hiring in today's world uh well i i guess to understand this you have to understand the mentality uh and mindset of like the employers what they're yeah. looking for yeah um and from the conversations i've had with like a few larith yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he's told me that for him if he's looking for someone to hire he's not just looking for someone with um that can code or whatever but mm -hmm. like uh someone who can actually solve a problem that he has okay. so he would recommend actually speaking to if you if you find a company you want to work with yeah try get to like either a manager or even like the owner of the of the place mm -hmm. get to know like what's your biggest problem mm -hmm. and then you go and solve that and then come back to them and be like hey this, this is what i have this is what i have yeah this is what yeah. i i've thought could be the best solution mm -hmm. um and then you present it to them and if you do that then it's, it's like you, you just stand out you stand out yeah you know? it's, it's not oh let me get a job applica uh, application and then um mm -hmm. you know go for an interview you literally just prove to them that you identify a problem yeah. and you saw you have a solution you have a solution yeah. whether the solution That's works true. or not is one thing but i think um that could be one way yeah you could go about building a project that would impress uh the employee the hire -er. yes yes, mm -hmm. yes that is super true because like sometimes it doesn't really go by what you've studied i mean study studying is very very important like you need to know your things but um most of the time they want to know what you're capable of doing mm. so if you have a problem solving application and you don't really have much in terms of background in education mm. Chances of hi um, hires looking at you and probably even hiring you are probably way more than someone who has zero projects but has more education. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. So it is very, very important. The most important things your projects need to have are, number one, they need to have a problem that they solve. That, yeah, that it's yeah. solving. <laughs> that it's solving. They need to have um, a problem that, can sol that it can solve. Yeah. So... If your project has none of those qualities, then... Yeah, yeah like if it's a calculator, like if your portfolio... Okay, it's good, but... Uh, it's like, it, it just shows, okay, you can... But you could have also just learned that on YouTube and just like copy-paste someone else's code. That's like, true. You have you to know. think of your project as like a personal campaign. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. something you're literally you're marketing yourself. Yeah. You get me? So, yeah. Um, What projects have you made so far that you feel like you want to share or it's probably interesting yeah actually um the, the interesting thing is i have a project uh mm -hmm. a whole yeah um that i that's what actually kind of brought me to tech mm -hmm. um it's called hairline and what it is basically is is a it's a salon um discovery and booking app yeah um which bridges the gap between salons and and um customers so how i came about um, building this or even coming up with the idea was I was in Cape Town and it was like my first year of university mm -hmm. and I noticed 
um, a lot of people struggle to find a good barber or a hair, uh, or a hair salon because you're in a new environment. You don't know where to start. You don't know where to go. You don't know where to go. You don't know who's good or who's not. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly why I named it Hairline. <laughs> you know, to solve that problem. Yeah. You know, um, so I was like, yeah, actually, why isn't there just an app that like can solve that problem can solve that problem that you know so, so cool. that like when students go to university or wherever anyone goes they can just hop onto the app and then it'll show them the ratings of the it'll show them the salons in the areas the ratings the prices reviews and all of that wow so i ended up wow that is so cool that was very creative yeah thank very you creative. thank you so i i long long story short i ended up designing it creating it and building it um, but I built it with no code, so I didn't mm. actually code it because I, I, I didn't have the time to actually learn <laughs> how to code from scratch. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just find a way to do it. Yeah. And so I did it. Easy way through. You don't yeah. have AI for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I didn't even use AI. Oh, yeah. Well, so how did you do it? Uh, there's a no code tool. It's it's kind of like a drag and drop. Uh, oh, okay. You should, tool. Yeah, should, yeah. But yeah. instead of like website, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, apps. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I use that and obviously having to build it as one thing but then you're gonna have to market it as well mm -hmm. um and that means posting it on social media yeah. that means mm -hmm. going to salons like in person and actually like speaking be like hey i built this product to solve your problem can you use this getting salon signed up and all of that mm -hmm. in between all of that um i got attention from a few uh people on linkedin um, wow how many people have reached out so far from linkedin yeah i think it was like three that, that, that is, is a lot yeah. i mean like yeah. it means your thing really stood out for a person to be like wow yeah. i actually want to get to know more yeah this is but like at the time i had imposter syndrome because like i i didn't code the app myself so they would be like yo we saw your project and like we're looking to like hire mm -hmm. you and stuff like are you wow, what's your yeah and then i had to be the one to tell them i don't ah. have you know yeah so <laughs> yeah I, i'd have to like uh let them down but i i think um, because now I'm learning actually to code, um, and do all of that from scratch. When I do get there, it might be a lot easier for me to get a job because mm -hmm. I already have that in my portfolio mm -hmm. and I can just show them like, yo, this is what I did. This is what I did. And I, I really, really like that because number one, your, your application is solving so, so many problems. Like, and you know, that's what a lot of people want to see. They don't want to see like a tic-tac-toe game. I mean, you can, especially as a beginner to teach yourself, but then you should also, you know, upgrade a little, try to be creative and see what the community needs. Yeah. So I, that's what I feel like is very, 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 um, interesting about your project. So when do you think you're going to deploy everything and when is it going to be it's been, available it's, for us to use? It, it's actually, it, okay. So. It, I made it available for quite some time mm -hmm. and I uh, managed to get like my first like thousand uh, users. Yeah, bro. I, wow. I, nah, yeah. Clap for that. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I had, I had about like 50 salons um, mm -hmm. and about a thousand users. Mm -hmm. um, but because I built it with no code, obviously I was paying a lot of money just to keep it up. Oh. Um, and also because I started learning, um, I, I just figured, you know, let me just build it from scratch. Mm -hmm. I already have a proof of concept mm -hmm. um, and uh, a customer base to start off with. Yeah. Let me now, um, because also with no code, there's some features that it just doesn't have. Yeah. That really, I feel like. Yeah, limitations. Yes, yes. I don't have full control. It's like 90% of my idea, but that like 10%, I really need yeah, that. Yeah, it needs um, to be a million percent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I have actually already deployed it and you can even wow. uh, find it um, on Google Play and App Store. Oh, uh, it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually still working on it. Yeah. yeah building it from scratch now. Mm -hmm. Um, that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I haven't released any apps <laughs> like you, unfortunately, but I'm also still working on like a couple of projects that I have. Um, so I feel like one interesting one, um, would be the, um, chatbot that I made. So, mm -hmm. This is for a school uh, from back in Durban. Yeah. So the issue was they had too many like um, students that didn't have a clear understanding of like um, their classes, registration, yeah. exam time. So I created a platform whereby it was easy for you to just um, log in your name, log in your details, yeah. the course you're enrolled in. And just based off those um 
inputs you could get like literally the type the times of your classes times of exams even like when your exams are due and mm. things like that and that yeah so on and so forth so from that platform it's really like solving so many issues because yeah. now it's like oh you don't have to now go to the reception and then like ask so yeah, many things you just it's like it. yeah you yeah. can just you know yeah. use that platform to help you out and so, like if you have a question in, in like the middle of the night or something yeah you know? literally you yeah. just figure yeah. out okay, oh this is where my class is today so that was pretty cool um i actually have another project <laughs> yeah that um actually um, helped me land a mini side gig. Yeah. So this person reached out on LinkedIn and yeah. just solely based off the it's websites. It's always on LinkedIn. Always on LinkedIn, bro. <laughs> you gotta post your projects. Literally. So solely based off like the projects I've already like posted on my LinkedIn. Yeah. I have a couple of things over there. So they reached out and they're like, oh, I like the things that you're posting. Do you mind if you do one, two, three for me? Yeah. And just because of my LinkedIn and the projects that they saw I was working on, yeah. they were interested, you know, to hire me as a freelancer. So yeah. that's already money in the yeah. bag. So yeah, that that's literally the re um, good thing about having projects and, you know, showcasing them. Yeah, actually on that, it, it's, it's like three people that reached three companies that reached out to me on LinkedIn trying to, oh, wow. to but like in person there was a lot more people that would be like yo you built this can you build yeah, this for me? yeah <laughs> and you know I, I'd have to be like ah so the thing is not yet <laughs> you know what I'm saying but like yeah yeah that's true yeah that's true oh uh, okay so I have a couple of project ideas for those at home and you might not know what you want to do or where to start, but we have five project ideas for you guys. Um, number one would be a job tracker app. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's just going to keep track of companies you've applied to, interviewed, follow-ups, and, you know, just make it very um, impressive, creative, just play around with it. Uh, number two would be a budgeting tool for students. Number three, an e-commerce site. Number four would be an API-based project. So, you know, something like Spotify or like a weather app, you know, you get me. Mm. And last but not least, you could also create a portfolio website. So it's like a project in a project. Yeah. So you, that's where you're going to show your project. It's a project where you're going to showcase your project. Yeah. So yeah, do you have one actually? I don't have one yet. You need to have one. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a yeah. portfolio project is very, 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 very important. Yeah, it's like your own little personalized website that has all of your... Literally. Yeah. Another project I saw um, someone mentioning that would be a really good thing to do is if you could build like... It might be complex, but if you could build like a system that like restaurants can use to like track their orders or ah. um, make their life easier somehow, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if you could build that and then you have at least one or two or three or four um, like restaurants actually using that when someone does look at your portfolio and they see that you built something that solves so many problems problems mm -hmm. and it has people that are actually using it you're getting that job bro like yeah Gar <laughs> i want to say guaranteed but then most like likely, most likely most likely i think that's a safer word to use yeah um actually fun fact yeah did you know that kevin saestro who is the co-founder of instagram yeah. actually got his first job without a computer science degree Oh. And just solely based off showing his wine recommendation app, just like you just mentioned, like yeah. the restaurant type of app, yeah. just because he showcased his wine recommendation app, he um he got the job. Literally, he got the job. And it was literally just a hobby. Yeah. He made it and he just got a huge, huge role in the biggest, one of the biggest tech companies in the world. How cool is that? That is pretty, and I How guess it's that? it's like a problem that's so niche. Like I would have never thought of, yeah. You know, but a oh, wine recommendation, yeah. Like, I guess that is some so people, smart. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's not like, easy. It's yeah. not easy. But yeah. if you're a beginner, um, I would highly recommend that you start off by tutorials, yeah, and then learn from those um tutorials. So, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, hope we see you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.